Gio, nice to have you back on the channel. I hope you're doing great. It is another Ableton 12 video because the algorithm really loved that and I have to do my work. See it like this. I show here techniques and when we talk about techniques, we can swap the devices like this. Think about the technique and not about the device, but we talk about the device and we will talk today about Ableton Melt. So in Ableton, first of all, um, melt can go really complex. So I just got some days now with it and uh, there's more to explore. I think there are sweet spots that you can find. They're amazing. But I just want to show like a little bit of overview and then uh, yeah, go over a little bit of sound design. So first of all, uh, here oscillator 1 and B, also A and B, um, we can just make on and off here. Then you can have a big selection of waveforms. They are going from classic stuff to really obscure rain bubble. You know what I mean? Quite cool. And then you have, of course, two of them. Uh, you can also swipe them here through that arrows. And then we have this like engines where they have like four different waveforms, different macros that they choose. Kind of like a preset for macros. So uh, let's try to find like, I don't know, some overtones that we like and then we go over to the envelopes and LFOs. Let's make them off first. Swarm. Interesting. I see. Let's keep that and then So you see this the synth have like really nice engines here. And then here you can of course also click and then it's synced, but I don't wanna do that now. Can make some drastic change sometimes. Because you can go also mono or poly. Higher. Good. Mm. Oh, we have a limiter here. Convenient. Um, let's try some envelopes. So, first of all, envelope A and B. You swipe here and then you have settings. So A and B, you can also sync what I like to do now because I think I have a clue where I go with the sound. Um, that's the amp. And then we have this modulation like this. And then we have the LFOs and the matrix, MIDI inputs, and MPE. 
in my case, really interesting, just the matrix. And this envelope here, I want to put now on the frequency from the filter. So we're getting with the com filter some feedback. Cool. Let's put some reverb on it. Cool. Um, so A, B, almost the same. You click on something, you get it. Um, settings. Here we have the oscillator key tracking without... I play different notes. Nothing happened. So if you want to make more like sequence modular style, here we are. And this one it gets automatically on when you do this. So yeah, you have this like scale awareness. Um, turned on and then we have glide I don't like glide so much but sometimes for some sounds I like to control it myself but in this case maybe because we always have everything split in this two engines so it's like two synths um from here to, to the filter what i really like from the design wise so we can say maybe just this oscillator i have a glide just soft so it has like more like this analog vibe okay so a little bit more about the filter of course also for each oscillator you have different one and then you have like quite a lot of different filter types I even don't know all of them. It's crazy. And uh, let's choose this like plate resonate because, ah, oh yeah, by the way, um, every time you see this like B hashtag here, um, you will know that they are like having a key that you then give with the key awareness, um, the right key. So uh, quite nice for some like engine change. Then you get overtones that literally have a key and should be in scale and you don't be aware. And then you everything is out of sync and you ask yourself, why my mix is so shit? But yeah, that's just because the stuff is not in sync. So click that button, done. So that's really cool. Um, let's modulate that. Um, second oscillator. Mm -mm 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 -mm. On the LFOs. So let's talk about the LFOs first a little bit and then we just modulate that thing here. But you see we get this nice overtone just from the filter. Um, so yeah, LFOs are like this. We have LFO1. Here in the back we have LFO2 and they're all nice syncable of course. Um, but in our case, what I fucking admire here is you can make them offset so you see like when i change here something it changed there too right but we can offset them and then we have like a different modulation source that is kind of based on that thing still you see when i change here also there change stuff i don't know if you see that but we're getting here like modulation visual presented um we can change the waveforms to weird stuff put the gain up more for the bit Get a weird movement here and then when we go into the matrix and here uh, down you can have uh, the arrow with this you get um, the big view with cross modulation so yeah um let's see where we go with this beautiful thing um i, I said we want to put first off the filter so we check whoop, filter to here frequency and then we go with the FX LFO. Let's see. Thank you. 
pitch modulation. We could go on the S first LFO and take a little bit of the envelope here. Yeah, so you see, like one of my favorite thing is the visual presentation here on the LFOs and how you deform them in an interesting way. And then you just can make hearing it live and just change the waveform and get an idea of what's happening here for all the visual people here. So, let's sound design a little bit on that and um, we go for some cross modulation and I think then we would have, we should have a sound. Um, First of all, of course, guess what? And then I also want this boy. Can also change the modulation envelope to trigger, loop or AD loop. What sometimes makes also a big difference. Just try it out. I cannot explain you this properly now. Okay, how this sounds with all my other elements together. I think totally off. Here we also have a melt. Um, modulated uh, only those things here. So yeah, a little bit of filter frequency against each other and definitely did a pitch modulation here, yeah. Here did nothing. The envelopes are almost the same like here. And then I take a basic shape and a swarm triangle. And yeah, the rest is filtering. I put some Aurora here. It really push the sound that I created, really clean and subby and give him the overtone that I needed. Nice. Okay, let's use maybe this thing here for creating a pattern or something that we maybe like. I don't know, something like this and then see. Now he don't play at all. It's too short too deep. Oops, my mic. Fuck. Let this light off. Let's go for the matrix. Full down with the pitch modulation on the envelope one. And then maybe a... Uh, I really love this device now. Cannot live without it. So we go in multi. So we have the frequency separated and then push the highs and the mids maybe. Yeah. Okay, maybe we offset the notes because it's totally there where the other plays. Maybe we modulate also now with some cross modulation to make this stuff more intense.
change a little bit this LFO's shapes here of the first one. just here the modulation the LFOs and the envelopes all this stuff is already modulated and we have our system it I guess yeah it's a fucking nice device even have a little bit more possibilities than a wavetable synth um, and then like always put some effects on it and modulate it heavy and I have to say with a melt you really can melt into the sound because yeah you have this like really interesting waveforms and then uh, a modulation heaven field enjoy go really deep and uh, have a mind that you always like manipulate the filter and the envelopes for different oscillators or in this case engines. So yeah, have a blessing day and week and like and subscribe to that video. You all know this helps a lot to get more of this and you also can check preset pack that I built, blah blah blah, make some courses now, check my website and yeah, peace.